हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मिस्टर उबैद एंड टूडे आई कैम टू यू विद न्यू क्लासेस फॉर द फाइनल पैटर्न डेवलपमेंट्स ऑफ द जैकेट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द सम इम्पोर्टेंट मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट्स डिजाइन एंड द ड्राफ्टिंग ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड्स of the jackets patterns so now in this class i will tell you about the final pattern development how we can eliminate the final patterns from the standards from the drafts so let's start first of all uh, when you, your draft will complete so let's come to this point edit and you come to the customize preferences and display and uh, you have to untick the fill piece and apply and then okay now you can see that you can see all the lines clearly so now first of all what we have to do we have to remove all the unwanted lines from our standards so for that purpose we have to delete the unwanted lines so you have to go to the modify delete line and then you have to select all the unwanted lines what we have to delete all these uh, unwanted lines we have to delete right click and then okay now we have to go to the modify and the split and this is the unwanted portion so we have to split over here and then right click okay now i have to delete this line also for that you have to go to the delete line and select the specified line and then okay you have to select this line also and then okay now we have to go to the modify and come to this icon clip and then you have to select this line and then unwanted portions we have to remove and then okay <coughs> now you go to the line delete now you have to go to the create menu and you have to select the trace icon by left click over there and then we have to trace the color pattern first of all we have to select the outer uh, lines of the color in a clockwise direction and then right click and then okay now you can see that the color pattern has been eliminated from the standard so you have to give it to the name as a color and hit the enter button uh, right click and then okay now we have to go to the modify and then uh, rotate and left click right click and then okay and then we have to select any point and like this we can rotate it yeah, okay now we have to realign this grain line for that we have to go to the realign and left click like this we have realigned now we have to apply the uh, seam allowances to the collar pattern for that purpose we have to go to the advanced and we have to select the define seam and then we have to give it to the 1 cm and hit the enter button similarly you have to select this line and right click and then okay now you have to apply 0.7 and hit the enter button now right click and then okay now you have to go to the modify and mirror and select the mirror line and now you can see that okay now you have to go to the rotate left click right click and then okay select and then okay now we have to go to the realign icon left click and then okay now you can see that your color pattern final color pattern has been completely designed 
if you want to give the name of this pattern so you have to go to the annotation and you have to give it as a final color and then you have to put this here one apply and you can see if you want change a size you can hit to apply and then ok select uh, you go to the edit menu annotation and select the color and then move and you can reposition it in a proper way and then ok now you can see that your color pattern has been completely designed now you come to the next point we have to draft the front part of our jackets so for that you have to go to the create menu and trace and select the outer lines of the center front part of your jackets in a clockwise direction First of all, we have to uh, we have to select this line. We have to go to the create offset path, and then we have to uh, go to the modify and the split line, and then we have to split this line uh, at this position. and then this one at this position and then ok now right click uh, now you have to go to the create menu and select the offset right click and then ok again now you have to go to the value and you have to put it um, minus 2 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to reposition the button marks for that you have to go to the add a specific number of point to the selected line and then left click over there the right click and then ok now you have to put it here one and hit the enter button now you can see that the three buttons positions has been appear right click and then ok now we have to go to the create menu and trace and we have to select the outer line of the center front jacket patterns in a clockwise direction and then right click and then ok now we have to trace this one and uh, this pocket also we have to trace right click and then ok now you can see that your center front pattern of your jackets has been completely designed now you give it to the name as a front part FP and hit the enter button right click and then ok now you can see that uh, your center front part has been created now we have to add the seam allowances in this pattern for this purpose you have to go to the advanced menu and select the define and you have to select uh, first of all uh, cancel it we have to combine you have to go to the modify combine and this line this line and this line right click and then ok now it has been combined now we have to go to the split menu and we have to split at this position and then ok now we have to go to the advanced menu and define we have to select this line right click and then ok and side seam allowance will be 2 cm and hit the enter button similarly this is the hem line allowance so we have to it here 3 cm and hit the enter button and for this line we have to know this is center front for this 0.7 centimeter and hit the enter button 
similarly for center front neck we have to select this line right click and then ok and we have to put it one centimeter similarly this is the shoulder line we have to put it 1.5 and hit the enter button and this is the arms eye seam allowance we should put 1.5 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now you can see that all the allowances in your center front parts has been provided perfectly now we have to give it to the annotation or information of this pattern for that you have to go to the create annotation left click over there and give it the final front part and you have to give it to the name as a one and apply or if you want increase the size you can put the two and then apply and you check okay now you can see that your final front parts has been completely designed now you come to the next point we have to draft the center back parts of the jackets so in this pattern we have to edit one more things we have to go to the annotations and and then cut this pattern will be cut too provided to this patterns final front part and we have to cut it too so that is information also I have mentioned in this pattern so come to the next point we have to draft the pattern of center back for that purpose we have to go to the create and trace and we have to select the center back outline shoulder line this is the arm side of the set back side seam and then right click and then ok now you can see that this is your center back back part so you have to give it B P and hit the enter button you go to the annotation give the information to this pattern of this pattern has also been applied to this pattern and then you have to ok right click and then ok now we have to edit the some seam allowances to this pattern as like a side seam allowances and hem allowance, seam allowances center back seam allowances shoulder seam allowances so all these seam allowances we have to apply to this pattern for this we have to go to the advanced menu and we have to select the define and select this is the arm size seam allowances will be 1.5 and hit the enter button here will be 2 cm and hit the enter button here will be 3 cm and hit the enter button and shoulder will be uh, it will be 1.5 arm size seam allowances side seam allowances will be 2 cm and hit the enter button shoulder will be 1.5 and hit the enter button and the center back neck line seam allowances will be 1 cm and hit the enter button 
and right click and then okay now you can see that uh, we have to allow one more seam allowances ham seam allowances it will be three centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then okay now you can see that uh, uh, all the allowances has been applied to the patterns now is okay now you come to the modify and then you have to come to the mirror and then ok <coughs> now you can see that the center back final pattern has also been completely designed center front end collar has also been designed now we have to eliminate or draft of the collar pattern for that you have to go to the create menu and select the dress and then you have to select this outer line of the collar so first of all you go to the trace menu and select the outer line of your pattern now you can see that your uh, pocket center front pocket pattern has also been eliminated and you have to give it the name as a pocket now we have to apply the seam allowances to this pattern so you have to go to the modify advance define and then we have to put it two centimeter and hit the enter button here will be one centimeter uh, you have to select this line and click on the ok to and hit the enter button ok you go to the create menu and we have to give to the annotation to this pattern as like pocket apply and okay so guys uh, my dear student uh, now you can see that uh, with the help of this standard draft we have eliminated all the patterns as like a front patterns collars pockets and uh, back center back patterns we have we have learned how to eliminate the patterns with the help of the software is very easily in a short period of time and very perfect patterns so you can design i hope that this class will be helpful for you in the next class i will tell you about the sleeve pattern drafting and its final pattern development so in this class we have already explained to you about the uh, front part back part collar and pockets pattern development so i hope this class will be helpful for you thanks